Today, I'm gonna to show you how I built a kitchen island out of an Ikea cabinet, a dishwasher, and some butcher block. Here we go. Hey everyone, this is my kitchen. This is the Brooklyn kitchen. Right now, um, we have this for counter space. There isn't a lot of counter space against the wall. It's a 110 year old Brooklyn row house that we're in. And this is kind of the interim kitchen island. It's on wheels, it's a little narrow, it's an odd shape. And I don't have a dishwasher in my kitchen, which I would like a dishwasher. So let me show you where my head is at as far as a design for the new kitchen island. I'm gonna rough it in right here. First, I went to Ikea and I bought a 36 inch wide base cabinet. And I'm gonna roll that right in here. Really cool, my neighbor was renovating a kitchen and they were getting rid of an almost new dishwasher, so I got that for free. All I had to do was go remove it. I made a video about that, by the way. The link's in the show notes there. And also from Ikea, I got a piece of solid butcher block. So I want a butcher block top, a cabinet, and a dishwasher. No, it's not something to eat, you big goof. I'm gonna clad the back and the side of this in the same knotty pine that surrounds the kitchen. And I did some stain tests ahead of time. What's that like, planning? Um, to match that. So while I'm building this, I'm gonna be staining the wood as well. The wood, um, it takes longer than you think to stain a polyurethane. We have videos about that, by the way. Uh, links in the show notes at the end of the show. But this will be fun. I'm pretty sure I got the color matched and um, I just gotta do it now. Ready? Are you excited about a new kitchen? Yeah? Dishwasher, can you say dishwasher? Hey, real quick, if you wanna see the video of me assembling the base kitchen cabinet, there's a link at the end of the show to watch that, or it'll be in the show notes below. So my standard height for the top of a cabinet is the height of your dishwasher, which is 35 inches. Check with your dishwasher installation instructions on that one. So I adjust the cabinet to be 35 inches and level. Level's important. Ikea has these adjustable feet and they're pretty darn neat. They're kind of tricky to get on. You need two people to put this all together. But once these puppies are in, you can literally by hand move these up and down. And there are four of them for the cabinet. So you make it 35 inches and level, and you're good to go. So the dishwasher is gonna go in a kitchen island. And you're thinking, well, where's the plumbing? Plumbing will be in the floor. So here is a basement. I can open up the ceiling of the basement and the plumbing stack for this whole building is basically about eight feet that way. Last thing I wanna do is cut a hole in that floor. I wanna make sure that I'm happy with the placement of the cabinet and the dishwasher and the countertop. Then I'll drill those holes. Learn from me. Um, I just don't wanna drill wrong holes, you know? I'm gonna want the countertop to have a slight overhang from the dishwasher. And to determine that overhang, we've gotta think about a couple things. On this end, we're going to build a frame with two by four to hold up this end. And also, we're going to have the knotty pine shiplap as well. So we add the two by four and then our uh, decorative cover here with the pine, and then we'll have a bit of an overhang. Now here's a kind of learn from Eric lesson. I was so excited to start this project and I wanted to rough it in, you know, to live with it for a week to see what it would all be like. And I cut the butcher block. Here's what happened. I cut the butcher block to five feet, which is three feet and two feet and not any for the overhang. Cause I wasn't thinking, I was just all excited. So to have that overhang, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do, okay? you buy another piece of butcher block. So when you're going to cut butcher block, I suggest taking the finished side, the side that you like, and point it down. All right, tongue oil on your butcher block. Oh, my head's cut off, hold on. All right, I've given this several coats of the approved oil. I've also coated the bottom of it. 
Um, over the dishwasher, we're going to put a special foil tape that may or may not come with the uh, butcher block that you buy. In addition, um, so we're going to secure this to the cabinet, and the cabinet has some pre-drilled holes to drill up into the board from the cabinet. This is a really cool rig for putting in pocket screws, it's for joining, you know, framing. I'll link in the show notes, but this is a neat rig for any kind of framing, even picture frames. Put the screw in. This is a 110 year old house, so nothing is level or square. So I've got the countertop level and it looks not level. So just keep that in mind when you're building this thing. Uh, this frame ended up not being square because the floor is so wobbly. If you don't have that little uh, drilling jig thing, which I'll link to in the show notes, which I really like, um, you can just use little angle brackets. Uh, if you get the Ikea butcher block, it comes with a bag of them and you can build this frame and you can also attach the frame to the butcher block with these. Okay? What's up? Alright, quick update here. I've got the dishwasher in and I'm applying another coat of the tongue oil, which is why I have the plastic here. Somebody wants to go outside and play with their ball. Um, so she really wants to play with the ball. So really quickly, I've also got the drain and the electric and the plumbing, the hot water in, the waste drain out, and the electric all through a slot I cut in the basement. Well, it's the kitchen floor, basement ceiling. So these are, I believe this is called shiplap, where each of these boards connects into the next one. Well, in a perfect world, they do. But you get the idea here. And I've got the whole back of this, or the front. Um, and each one is going to be screwed in with a drywall screw, just one black screw, into this little top rail I put in here. The idea here is that if I ever have to get to the plumbing behind the dishwasher, for some reason you can't pull the dishwasher out or something, I just thought I'd plan in advance that these are all going in here. Each one has to be cut individually, by the way, because the floor is crooked. Um, but these pop in, and then I will screw them in. And that way, if we ever have to get to the back of this thing again, we could take it off. I made my own kick plate to go underneath the cabinet here. And Ikea ships these little clampy things. And I just took a piece of pie and painted it black. And this will snap onto the legs in here. In a perfect world, if I measured right. Oh wow, that worked. So I have a little piece of scrap wood and exactly where I want the hole to be on every slat. I just put my pencil in. A little too deep, uh oh. So I can just take a little stain and just touch that up. I put an electrical outlet in. I didn't show how to do that, but if you're handy, you can put one of those in. All right, there you go. If I can do it, you can do it. There were little hiccups with this, but you learn as you do, and you know, no one else is gonna see the mistake except you. And I know where the mistakes are here, but it's up and it's done, and I get to cook on it, right? So we have more DIY, eclectic stuff, Labradors, me trying to make stuff like this, and also trying to cook on it, if you wanna subscribe. More information you want to see our other uh, IKEA stuff and our butcher blocks I've made, um, countertops and stuff. Links are right here in the show notes. If you want to see some more videos of these two knuckleheads, I'll link to some more Labrador videos as well. Hey, tell your friends about the show, would you? That's the best way that we can get more people to watch. If you're interested more about Eric and social media, all my links are below as well. All right, make it a great day. Thank you very much for watching and. Um, I'll see you next week. Hello. Would you like to come help with the cabinet? I'll take that as a no.